Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Distinguished scholars, honorable guests, brothers and sisters, on behalf of the Islamic Circle of North America, I would like to join our co-host Mass to sincerely welcome you to our 13th Mass ICNA convention here in the windy but beautiful city of Chicago. Respected gathering, with the dawning of the 21st century, there has been a constant philosophical change in the way the world views reality or haqq. Religion is being marginalized, making way for new ideologies and philosophies which are particularly alien to Islam. So often a new ism, another word for ta'ghut, pops up, leaving a believer to question his own faith. These new philosophies have brought about enormous changes in our perception in the way we see faith, life, the concept of divine and ultimate happiness. When it comes to the belief in the unseen or the belief in ghaib, more and more society is made to believe in naturalism as opposed to things that are supernaturalism or ghaib. Hence, things seen become more relevant than the things that are unseen. Knowledge or information of reality. Society is moving more towards reason than what is divine. A few decades ago, there has been a new genre of research that questions the fundamental sources of Islam. Does the Quran contain the same text as it was revealed 1400 years ago? Does the Hadith have the pure sayings of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? So subsequently, works such as Hagarism, another name for Islam, the making of the Muslim world in 1977, that book was written, and others of such nature question the authenticity of the Quran and the Hadith. When it comes to human nature, people are made to accept reductive materialism as opposed to dualism, that the humans are made of body and soul. For example, the view that only material world, which is matter, is truly real, and that all processes and realities observed in the universe can be explained by reducing them to the most basic scientific components like atoms and molecules, and everything else thought to make up what we know as matter. For example, a reductive materialist would view the miraculous and unexpected healing of a supposedly terminally ill cancer patient as a random coincidence of solely biological and physiological processes in a person's body. While on the other hand, as Muslims, we believe in the power of Allah, he only say be and it is. And finally, in ethics, this, the desire to feed into egoism is highly encouraged. After all, they say you live only once. As opposed to being altruistic, reaching out and care for others. As Muslim, this is part of our faith. My dear brothers and sisters, often our Muslim community, particularly the youths, get lost in this philosophical jungle of ideas that have been unleashed on them. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned in a hadith an Abi Hurairata radiallahu an anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal badiru bil a'mali fitana 
ققت الليل المظلم يصبح الرجل مؤمنا ويمسي كافرا أو يمسي مؤمنا ويصبح كافرا يبيع دينه بعرض من الدنيا Rush to perform good deeds now before the fitan, the trials and tribulations of pitch darkness appear wherein a man will wake up as a believer and becomes a disbeliever by nightfall and another man goes to bed as a believer and wakes up as a disbeliever selling his religion for some worldly commodities and so the theme of this year convention faith compass for life will shed light and truly give us the compass to remain steadfast on haq until we return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once again, I join my dear brother, Dr. Nadim, and the others, and welcome you all to this convention. And I do hope and pray that when you leave here, you leave with a renewed commitment that you will stay firm on that path, the path that leads to Jannah to Firdaus. After all, we ask Allah 17 times per day minimum, ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem, guide us in the straight path. Let us hope and pray Allah will guide us and keep us in the straight path until we return to him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.